And on Capitol Hill today, while Congress remains gridlocked over a possible bipartisan Senate deal on immigration reform, there is now an effort to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The criticism comes from Republicans over Mayorkas' handling of the border in a new memo, the Department of Homeland Security calling the GOP-led investigation into the House unconstitutional and evidence-free. Here's ABC's Melissa Adan. House Republicans now turning their battle over a border deal to DHS, accusing Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas of violating his oath of office by willfully and systematically refusing to comply with federal immigration laws and enact widespread detention of migrants. The House Homeland Security Committee is set to consider these articles tomorrow. Speaker Mike Johnson is promising a floor vote as soon as possible. The move unprecedented, as the only time a cabinet secretary has been impeached by the House was in the 1870s. House Democrats rebutting the impeachment efforts. The House Republicans have clearly turned their ever-shrinking majority over to the extremists. DHS defending Mallorca's, calling the impeachment effort an evidence-free political stunt, arguing Republicans are weaponizing impeachment over policy disagreements. Still, the focus remains on Congress trying to pass a bipartisan border deal after months of negotiations. The Senate bill would lead to faster processing of asylum claims and give the president emergency authority to shut down the border when it becomes overwhelmed. But if passed, it faces an uphill battle in the GOP-controlled House. Meantime, in Texas, State Attorney General Ken Paxton denying federal Border Patrol agents unrestricted access to a small park in Eagle Pass along the southern border, saying Texas will not allow it to turn into an unofficial port of entry. This after the state seized control of the park to arrest migrants who cross into Texas in the area. The Supreme Court recently ruling that federal agents can cut the razor wire installed by the Texas National Guard along the Rio Grande. Idaho's governor announced he plans to send two more teams of Idaho State Police troopers to the Texas-Mexico border to assist troopers there. This follows other states, including Florida, who have also sent personnel and resources. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Los Angeles.